you mentioned global warming. See, it's very interesting the way that's portrayed in the media. It's portrayed as if there's two sides. You know, we have to be objective, so 50% for each. Uh, one side is like 99% of scientists. Uh, the other side is uh, Rush Limbaugh, Sarah Palin, Jim Inhofe, and you know, three guys that they kind of contrarians in the science community. So we give them equal time. And then how's the ordinary citizen going to figure it out? Actually, the New York Times had a front page story a couple of days ago about the very interesting controversy that's taking place between climate scientists and what they call meteorologists, the people who appear on television to tell you whether it's going to rain tomorrow. Uh, and they differ. So how's the ordinary citizen going to figure it out? Well, you know, you don't want it. First of all, it should be pointed out that there's actually three sides. There's not two. There's the, you know, the, the mainstream scientific consensus, and there's two groups that, of denialists. One of them is the one that's given equal time, you know, Senator Inhofe, Rush Limbaugh. But there's another one, which is very significant. Uh, major groups of scientists who think that the uh, uh, mainstream analyses are nowhere near grave enough. Uh, they're all it's very serious work. I mean, MIT just came out with a big study. They're scientists saying the reality is far worse than what's predicted. Well, they're not part of the debate. Okay. So what's the ordinary citizen going to do? Well, he's not going to become a climate scientist. But, you know, the choices in this case are so transparent that it doesn't take a lot of work to figure it out. I mean, what's the chances that, uh, you know, the overwhelming majority of climate scientists from all over the place uh, either the ones who say it's very grave or the others who say it's even worse than you claim. Uh, what are the probability that they're wrong and Rush Limbaugh's right? You know? I mean, it's, it's not a hard decision. You don't have to be an expert. And there's another point to be made about all of this. Uh, if, if you try to think through the cost-benefit analysis, suppose the people who deny it are correct and you do something about it. Okay, you've spent some money doing things you probably should have done anyway, you know, like more re renewable energy and so on. Uh, but the, the total cost is it cost you something. Suppose, on the other hand, that the consensus is right. Well, if you don't do anything, uh, human species is probably down the drain. Okay, those are the costs you have to estimate. That's not particularly subtle.